Here we will see a point estimation method and that is a quadratic method or we say that successive quadratic estimation uh, method. So in previous uh, methods we have seen that uh, the minimum of univariate function uh, we are getting the minimum by bracketing method or region elimination method. That means we are finding the bracket or we are finding the interval or smallest possible interval okay, where the minimum lies. But in this method we will approximate the point, uh, we will approximate the minimum point. Okay. So we will see um, what is the fundamental of this method and what is the concept behind this uh, method. So uh, we have unimodal function f of x this okay this is f of x then using three points we can draw okay using three points I can write this so using this okay if we have three points this point that is P1 this is P2 this is P3 okay so I can write it as P1 x1 comma f1 P2 x2 comma f2 P3 x3 comma f3 then using three points we can draw a quadratic function that is q of x which will approximate the function f of x so first we will find a quadratic function which will approximate to function f of x where p1 p2 p3 will satisfy f of x okay so what i can write q of x i can write it as a0 plus a1 into x minus x1 plus a2 into x minus x1 into x minus x2 okay so this is a general form of the quadratic function f of sorry q of x so if we get a0 a1 a2 value then we can find q of x so now our aim is to find a0 a1 a2 so how to find so if if we take p1 point that is x1 f1 then what will happen this q of x1 will be a0 plus a1 minus x1 minus x1 plus a2 into x1 minus x2 into x1 minus x2 so this will be 0 this will be 0 so ultimately what we will get a0 but what is q of x1 at x1 we have function value f1 so q of x1 is also f1 so i can write it as f1 equal to a0 so we got from this this relation that is f1 equal to a0 now if i take point p2 that is x2 f2 then what will happen we will get q of x2 ok that equal to a0 plus a1 into x2 minus x1 plus a2 into if i put x2 here then it will be x2 minus x1 x2 minus x2 so this term will cancel out because x2 minus x2 is 0 so no need to write ok so we got q of x2 equal to this one so what we will get let us see so q of x2 is nothing but f2 and we know what is a0 a0 is f1 plus a1 into x2 minus x1 so ultimately what we can get a1 equal to f2 minus f1 by x2 minus x1 ok so we got this now similarly if I put if we take p3 point that is x2 sorry 
this is x3 comma f3 then what we will get we will get this q of x3 equal to a0 plus a1 into x minus or it will be x3 minus x1 plus a2 into x3 minus x1 into x3 minus x2 so if i solve it so we will get what this q of x3 will be f of 3 or f3 and a0 is what f0 plus a1 is we got just now it is f2 minus f1 by x2 minus x1 whole into x3 minus x1 plus a2 into x3 minus x1 into x3 minus x2 okay we got this one so if we solve this and uh, find the a2 value so a2 will be what a2 will be 1 by x3 minus x2 whole into what f3 minus f1 by x3 minus x1 minus a1 so we get this value So after getting this a1, a2, a3, we can get what? Q of x. So now using three points, we can uh, get the quadratic function. After that, what is the aim? Aim is to find the minimum. Okay, find the minimum of what? Minimum of Q of x because Q of x, Q of x approximate f of x. Okay, that means Q of if we find the uh, minimum of q of x and successively if we do in the same way then we will converge to a point okay that point will approximate the minimum of f of x so how to do so after getting q of x after putting a1 a2 a3 value here in this equation uh, a1 sorry a0 a1 a2 value in uh, q of x will get the quadratic function and then we will find the minimum so what is the minimum we see that the minimum point will be always where the derivative will be zero so that means if we have to find or if we can find this value and this will equate to zero then we will get some x value and that x value will be our what minimum value so if this Q, Q of x is the uh, quadratic function then what is Q dash x that we will find so Q dash x will be so first term will be 0 second term second term will be a1 then plus from here third term what to get we will get a2 ok minus x1 so a2 2a2 x okay and this one is x1 plus x2 into a2 okay that we will get so if this equal to 0 then ultimately what we will get we will get this x okay x will be what x1 plus x2 divided by 2 minus a1 by 2 a2 okay. so that i will get this x or i can write it as x bar for our convenience okay so now we got three points okay or four points first three points then this one so for corresponding x bar we can get what value f of x bar ok so finally we got p1 p2 p3 and x bar now what to do we have to see the best three points that means uh, out of four points p1 p2 p3 and x bar f of x bar will find the best three points in the sense of minimum so what are those three points where uh, 
the function values are minimum that we have to find and then what to do then again with that three with those three points we will find out uh, the quadratic function then uh, using this formula we will uh, get the next minimum point then we will get four, four points so out of four points again we will choose best three points then same procedure we have to follow till we get approximate value or till the successive uh, x value uh, or the difference of x value is very small okay so that is the idea of this quadratic estimation method